how to convert mixed fraction percent to decimal look this is the percentage this is the percentage mixed fraction percentage would like to convert this to decimal so let us convert so multiply this whole number to denominator then numerator so we are getting 1 times 5 1 times 5 then plus 1 divided by this 5 then percentage so we are getting here look 5 plus 1 divided by 5 then percentage basically we are getting here 6 over 5 then percentage so we know that instead of percent percent means 1 over 100 so you can write instead of percent you can write 1 over 100 now multiply so 6 5 times 100 means 500 now this is a fraction so to convert this fraction to decimal you need to divide this numerator 6 by this denominator 500 500 goes into 6 how many times 0 times so 0 times 500 0 so we are getting 6 so this 6 uh, is a whole number so we can rewrite this whole number as a decimal by taking uh, uh, by taking a decimal point we can write this whole number as a decimal uh, number by taking decimal point then we can put any number of zero according to our need so look now bring down this first zero six five hundred goes into sixty zero times zero times five hundred zero so if you subtract then you will get sixty now bring down this second zero now we are getting six hundred five hundred goes into six hundred one times 1 times 500, 500. If you subtract, then you are getting 100. Now bring down this last zero. 1000. 500 goes into 1000 two times. Two times, right? So two, two times 500, 1000. So you are getting zero. So decimal point will go to the state. So we are getting here look 0 0.012 this is the decimal number right so also we can solve this problem 1 over 1 by 5 like this just we can rewrite this problem and this is the second way right like this is the whole number part okay whole number part plus this is fractional part 1 over 5 then we have here percentage so just convert this fractional part to decimal point so 1 over 5 okay divide this uh, 1 by 5 5 goes into 1 0 times 0 times 5 uh, 0 so subtract 1 you can write this one as uh, 1.000 you can take any number of zero five go okay bring down the first zero five goes into ten two times okay take this decimal point to the state that is two times five ten subtract zero you have nothing to do so one over five equal to zero point two so one this is your whole number part 1 plus you have 415 that is fractional part you are getting 0 0.2 then percentage so if you add you are getting 1 uh, if you add then you are getting what just add here 0 0.2 and here 1 but you can write 1 as 1 1.0 so we are getting here 2.1 1.2 then you have percent so look 1.2 percent means 1.2 times 100 sorry 1.2 
times 1 over 100. Percent means 1 over 100. So you are getting here 1.2 divided by 100. Look, here we have 2 0, right? So decimal point will come to 2 digit from right to left. So you can consider here one more 0. So look, 0 0.01, you are getting, look, point. 0 0.12 0 0.012 look here you have uh, gotten the answer 0 0.012 also you are getting 0 0.012 so you can solve this problem in two ways also you can solve this problem into two ways let me show you two and half percent okay two and half look Two and half percent. Okay, we'll use the second method. Two plus this half. This is the whole number part. You need to fix this. Ten percent. So look to convert this fractional part to decimal. Divide this one by two. Two goes into one. Zero times zero times two. Zero subtract one. But we can rewrite this one as decimal number by taking decimal point and any number of zero. Let us down the first zero, then two goes into ten five times. Right? Ten. Five times to ten. So we have nothing to do. Half equal to point five. Point five percent. So we are getting here. 2.5 percent percent mean 1 over 100 that is 1 over 100 this is this so if you here we have 2 0 so decimal point will move to the 2 will move from right to left so 1 digit 2 digit you have a placeholder 0 here so decimal point zero two five is is the answer so we have solved this problem into the second way okay so try to solve this problem in the first way i hope you will be successful